I'd go back to you. Okay, so we've all heard of trash trading, and it's a big thing in the Animal Jam slash Play Wild community, and a lot of people do it, and I really don't understand why, like, what's so important about it. But, um, yeah, so how to stay safe when you're trust trading? Well, when you're trust trading, and if some random account messages you or something, or if you see a new gemmer or something saying they want to trust trade to get proofs or something, don't trust them. It's most likely a scam because it's a new account, and the only people you should trust is basically no one, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure it's against the Animal Jam rules. But if you know a really good friend of yours or you, you trust them a lot or something, then go ahead, and if you don't really care about your items, go ahead. But, yes, if you don't want to get scammed, you shouldn't do it at all. But if the person you're doing it with is really trustworthy or something and you trust them, or if you just want to do it, go ahead. If you get scammed, it's your fault. And so basically, um, a lot of people get scammed by trust trading, and even people that you really trust will scam you too. Like, if you trust this person so much and you know they're not going to scam you and they go end up scamming you, then that's your loss because there's a chance that you will get scammed when you're trusting somebody with your items and not everybody is telling the truth when you're trust trading with them that's why animal jam has put it against their rules i'm pretty sure because i think they considered it a scammy or something and also yeah that's pretty much it i gotta say for this part of the video so now we're gonna move on with the next part and when you're scammed in a trust trade, I do not know if Animal Jam will recover your items. I don't think they do that anymore for you, sadly. So if you get scammed in a trust trade, then it's your loss. Like, it's your fault. That's It's not, that, it's not the other person's fault. It's your fault for falling for it. Because you know that you could get scammed by that. And the other person is the scammer, but... We don't always blame it on them. It's your choice to do the trade. So it would have been your fault, but they are still bad for scamming you. But you, anyways, you shouldn't have trusted them anyway if you were scammed. This is no offense to anybody, but I have something else to say. And especially with gem gem holidays around. And it's pretty upsetting to get scammed around this time of the year. I mean, there's worse stuff that could happen, honestly. But I've seen people scam around this time of the year, and it's pretty bad. Like, it's the time to be giving and stuff, not the time to scam people. That's really mean and toxic to do. So I'm hoping um, nobody gets scammed this year or anything, or the next year, never. But definitely not on the gym holidays, because that's supposed to be a happy time of the year for Animal Jam. And for people to have fun and everything, not to have scams and toxic people come here and saying awful things about stuff. So we just want to have a really nice Jamal day and happy Jamal days to everyone.